You are Lyra, a proud and fierce anthropomorphic lioness with a mane of golden hair, dressed in a suit of leather armor and armed with a bizarre weapon that you forged yourself. You've just entered the Black Leather Tavern, an imposing building made of black leather and metal spikes that stands tall in the middle of the city. You look around the tavern, taking in the sights and sounds of the patrons, who are mostly warriors, adventurers, and scoundrels. You head to the bar, where you can see the barkeep, a gruff and imposing figure pouring drinks for the customers. You approach the bar and order a drink, looking around the tavern for any sign of adventure. You approach the barman, a gruff-looking dwarf with a bushy beard. He leans against the bar, his arms crossed over his chest. What can I get for you? He asks gruffly. You ask if he has any work for someone like yourself, and he scoffs. Work? You look like you can barely hold a sword, let alone swing it. He studies you for a moment longer before his expression softens. But I might have something for you if you're willing to help me out. My niece is missing. I need someone to go look for her. The barman leans forward, his eyes narrowed in urgency. You must go to the Temple of the Blood Moon and retrieve my niece. She has been taken by the vampires that reside there. Be careful, for they are a dangerous lot. As you mount your trusty steed, you set off towards the Temple of the Blood Moon. The journey is long and treacherous, with many dangers lurking in the shadows. But you are determined to see this quest through to the end, for the sake of the barman and his missing niece. You arrive at the entrance of the Temple of the Blood Moon, a towering structure made of dark stone and adorned with intricate engravings of wolves and bats. The temple is nestled within a dense forest, surrounded by towering trees and the haunting calls of nocturnal creatures. As you dismount from your horse, the door of the temple slowly creaks open, revealing the dimly lit interior. A hulking figure blocks your way as you approach the entrance to the Temple of the Blood Moon. The figure is a massive humanoid, covered in scarred leathery skin and wielding a fearsome battle axe. Its eyes, red and piercing, fix upon you as you approach. The Guardian is a formidable opponent, his sword whistling through the air with deadly precision. But you are determined to reach the inner sanctum of the temple. You dodge and parry, your own weapon flashing in the dim light. Finally, with a cry of triumph, you land a decisive blow, and the Guardian staggers, his form dissolving into a cloud of smoke. Breathless, you continue through the doors, eager to uncover the secrets that lie ahead. As you enter the temple, you find yourself in a large room filled with hooded vampires who are engaged in a dark ritual. In the center of the room you see the barman's niece, bound and helpless. The vampires are chanting in an ancient language, and a strange energy fills the air. You draw your sword and step forward, interrupting the vampire's ritual. They turn their attention to you, and the room is filled with the sound of hissing and snarling. The barman's niece cries out for help, but you can see fear in her eyes. You know that you must act quickly to save her. You fight your way through the vampires, using your sword and magic to fend them off. Despite their best efforts, you reach the barman's niece and cut her free. She gratefully throws herself into your arms, and the two of you make your escape from the temple. You and the rescued niece make your way out of the temple and towards your horse, waiting outside. The night air is cool, and the full moon casts an eerie glow over the surrounding forest. You mount your horse and begin the journey back to the tavern where you first received the quest. After your daring rescue mission at the Temple of the Blood Moon, you and the young niece make your way back to the tavern where you first accepted the quest. The journey back is uneventful, and soon enough, you arrive at the familiar establishment. The barmaid greets you as you approach, her expression one of relief. She takes the young niece into her arms and thanks you for your help. I can't thank you enough for bringing my niece back safely, she says with a warm smile. Please, let me reward you for your efforts. The bartender nods approvingly as you return with the rescued niece. Well done, well done, he says, his eyes shining with appreciation. 
He reaches under the bar and pulls out a small chest, filled to the brim with gold coins and glittering gems. This should be enough to cover your expenses, he says, sliding the chest toward you. You accept the reward, feeling a warm sense of satisfaction wash over you. You have completed the mission and saved a life, and now you have the reward to show for it. You thank the bartender and make your way back out into the night, ready for your next adventure. You return to the tavern, the barkeep waiting for you with a pleased grin on his face. He hands you a small chest filled with gold coins, a reward for your successful completion of the quest. As you count the coins, you feel a sense of pride and satisfaction in your accomplishments. The barkeep raises his glass in a toast to you. To Lyra, the bravest adventurer this town has ever seen, your name will be remembered for generations to come. The patrons of the tavern join in the toast, cheering and clapping. You realize that your journey has only just begun, and there are many more adventures waiting for you. The world is vast and full of mysteries and dangers, but you are ready to face them with courage and determination. You leave the tavern. The memories of your latest quest and the friends you've made along the way burned into your mind forever. The night air is cool and crisp, the moon casting a soft silver glow over the land. You mount your horse and ride into the unknown, ready for what the future holds. The end.